Labor Day is a federal holiday in the United States that honors the contributions of American workers. It is celebrated every year on the first Monday in September with parades, parties, and sporting events. It is also known as the Workingman's Holiday, and it marks the end of summer for many young Americans. During the late 19th century, at the height of the Industrial Revolution in America, workers had to work 12-hour shifts per day for seven days in a row to make a living. Factories and mines were in high demand and welcomed workers of all ages. Despite prohibitions, some states used children as young as six years old for labor. Workers were put in dangerous situations with bare hands and little protection. The American Industrial Revolution greatly expanded the manufacturing industry, displacing agriculture. As a result, labor unions were formed and quickly spread. Labor unions began organizing rallies, strikes, and protests in response to changes in working hours, pay, and safety. Oregon was the first state to declare Labor Day a holiday on February 21, 1881. Colorado, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Connecticut, Nebraska, and New York followed the same year. On September 5, 1882, nearly 10,000 workers marched to New York City's Union Square, marking the first Labor Day parade in American history. The Haymarket Ride of 1886 was regarded as one of the most violent labor protests. Several Chicago police officers and workers were killed. On May 11, 1894, the majority of Pullman Palace Car Company employees went on strike to protest wage cuts and the dismissal of union representatives. Eugene V. Debs was the leader of the American Railroad Union by June 26. They protested the Pullman Railway cars, resulting in a nationwide railroad traffic jam. After the federal government sent troops to Chicago, the riot killed dozens of workers. When the deaths of workers were made public, the incident sparked widespread outrage. By the end of 1894, 23 states had passed Labor Day legislation. To appease workers even more, Congress passed legislation making Labor Day a legal holiday in the District of Columbia. The holiday was proposed by both Peter J. McGuire, co-founder of the American Federation of Labor, and Matthew McGuire, secretary of the Central Labor Union. The American Federation of Labor Convention adopted a resolution prior to Labor Day in 1909 to commemorate the labor movement's educational achievements. Labor Day is now observed in all 50 states of the United States. The day, like other federal holidays, is marked by colorful parades, fireworks displays, community picnics, and barbecues. It marks the end of summer and the beginning of the school year for American children and teenagers. Radio and television broadcast speeches by union officials, industrialists, educators, and government officials. Labor Day honors American workers' enduring contributions to the ideals of economic and political democracy, as well as the nation's strength. Many American football teams play their first game of the season over Labor Day weekend. Most businesses, as well as all government agencies and offices, observe the holiday. It is also the last chance for families to take summer vacations. Unlike the rest of the world, American Labor Day is not celebrated on May 1st to compensate for the long gap between Independence Day and Thanksgiving.
The United States Department of Labor was founded in 1913 to protect the rights and well-being of all American wage earners. The National Labor Relations Board was established in 1935 during the presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt to expand union rights. The FLSA, or Fair Labor Standards Act, establishes wage standards for most public and private sector jobs. Employers are required to pay employees the federal minimum wage, including overtime pay. The Wage and Hour Division is in charge of enforcing labor laws for immigrants and aliens who work in the United States. The Occupational Safety and Health Act protects all workers in the workplace. The Family and Medical Leave Act provides job-protected leave to eligible employees in cases of childbirth and serious illness.